Okay, YouTube, this is Diva Kiki. I am back. Um, I've massaged coconut oil at, the, at my scalp because I needed to oil my scalp um, like I used to. Anyway, um, so this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to use this kind of comb. I'm going to use my um, leave-in conditioner, which is in a spray bottle. And I'm going to use a little bit of tex Texture My Way Curl Keeper Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm going to put my plaits in the same way that I did on last night. The only difference is that on this section right here, as you can see, it does not matter. It does not matter how big it is. I'm just going to add a little bit more to that row. Okay, and I'm just going to use some clips just to clip that up. So, put that out of my way. Now, I have a big section right here. Now, on last night, what I did was I did one whole piece right here. Tonight, I'm going to do two pieces right here. Just to give a little bit more definition on my bottom part. So, and I like how, see how I can comb right through my hair? I love this comb right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray on my con leave-in conditioner. And I'm not going to spray on a lot. I'm just going to spray on a little bit. This stuff makes my hair very soft when I put leave-in conditioner that's liquid like this in my hair. Okay, I got it a little bit, a little bit, mo I got it moisturized a little bit. So that's pretty good, which is what I wanted. And then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Curl Keeper on it. And I'm looking in my mirror, so I hope you all can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I put a little bit of the Curl Keeper on it. So it can kind of help my curl a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just pin one piece to the side. And let me make sure you all are capturing this. Oh, no, because my mirror is in the way. So how about I do my mirror like this to get out of you all's way. All right, that's better. Okay, so again, put my curl keeper on it. And I'm going to plait just like I did on last night. Now my nails are very long, but I still get, was able to get the job done. I'm used to working with my nails. Now this this when I did this last night, it was an, it gave me what I was looking for as far as stretching my hair out. So, and as you can see, round the ends, I just twirl that around, and then I'm using one of these bands just to keep my ends from unraveling. Okay, and I, I'm looking at the game too, y'all. I am a Lakers fan. Okay, I love me some Kobe Bryant. Sorry. So I am looking at my team. <laughs> I hope I don't offend anyone. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm going to flat this side as well. I really like the results that I got from this on last night. So that's why I'm doing it again tonight. And I think this is going to be my nightly routine because I like it. And I like the results that I got. So um, even if I'm going to style my hair without a part or in a different way, this is going to be my routine. And all I did was twirl the ends again so I can get a little bit of curl this time. Okay, see how I did that? Now, last night I had one big old plait, but I think I'm going to get a little bit more definition like that. So now I'm going to go 
to my next section and I'm going to probably do one, two, three. So maybe I had about 20 last night because I think I had three right here. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to put a little bit of my conditioner, leave-in conditioner on it. This is a little bit thicker in this section right here. So it's going to take a little bit more to do what I need to get done. All right, I think that's good enough. Now I just saturated in my hair, that's all. And of course I comb from the ends to the root. This is a good comb. I use the big comb, like the big, big comb too, but I like this a little bit better for when I'm styling. I used to use a small comb, but it takes longer with a small one because I have to really go slow because of, um, I don't want to break my hair off. So now I'm putting a little bit of the, um, just a little bit. That's about how much I'm putting of the um, Curl Keeper. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give me a little bit of what I'm looking for, for tomorrow. Alright, now I'm going to start with the front color pieces. It's been a long time since I've actually done a tutorial, so I really hope this is coming out well. Okay, I do it a little tight there so I can stretch the hair. Because the point of doing this is to stretch the hair out so it's not as short when I'm wearing it. Now today it shrunk a little bit because it was raining outside when I left work. So, being that it was raining outside when I left work, my hair got a little bit wet. So you know what happens when we get rain water or any kind of water on our hair. We get shrinkage. So that's what happened today. Okay. And as you can see, I'm just going to twirl it around my finger to give me a little curl. Alright? So, I'm going to do the same thing for the next section. I'm just going to do it like that. Like so. And after I do this one, I will pause and come back and let you see the end result. Basically, I did show, well, I did take a picture of the end result already from the last night. So, twirl that around my finger a little bit, and I'm gonna put another one on the end. Okay. So what I'm going to do is finish the rest of my hair and I will check you all out later, YouTube. Alright.